everyone, this is Connie Miller, and I have a real burden on my heart that I'm to release this video today to give some of you some encouragement, and also to encourage myself as well. So I want to talk to you for just a few minutes about dogs. Now, I have two dogs, and I know they love to go for walks. In fact, um, when my husband comes home at night, their whole temperament changes because they know that he's the one that takes them for walks every night. So they get all super excited and, and go start acting crazy, right? And so when they start out on the walk, and my husband, he has a, um, a scooter that he takes them on because he has a disability. And so he will take them while he's on the scooter and they go crazy. And you know, dogs, their noses are so sensitive and that when they go for a walk and they start smelling all these smells, uh, their brain, they say, goes on overload. And so this is why if a dog gets out of the fence or something and they start running around crazy because their senses are on overload and the next thing you know, they're lost because their brains have just been so overactive. And so when they calm down and they start getting their bearings, it's like, wait a minute, where am I at here? Uh, I need to, uh, now they start thinking straight. So I was reminded today that we're similar to that. I think right now and for this season, that we've been going through everything in the world and with the election and just everything that's happening. I know for me, and I'm sure for most of you out there, my senses have been on overload. And every day you feel it. I mean, what's going to happen next? You know, our, our emotions are heightened. Um, I know for me in this season, just even the last year, you know, I, I I've been learning so much and awakened to so much that I didn't know. So like my brain is just like, wow, it just has so much new things in it and trying to navigate in this new truth that I'm living in and the reality of things that I just wasn't paying attention to, to be honest, uh, has really heightened my senses. So we just, we're just constantly putting things in us and watching things and wanting to know what's happening, that we just stay in this heightened state to where I think that we're somewhat like the dogs. We get kind of unfocused and we kind of get off track and we lose our way. And just like when a dog calms down and he can get his bearings, many times they'll find their way back home. Now, if they've gone too far, I mean, it takes them a while. Somebody's got to find them or, you know, it might take them a while to get home. Well, when we calm down, and this is, this is the message that I believe that God really wants, I know for myself, my, fam my family, and for others out there, is just step back. Step back away from it all. Calm down, get your bearings about you, spend some time with me, get focused, and see where I want you to go. See where I want you to be. So God's saying, get on course, get back on course. Because I think sometimes, even though it's not saying that paying attention to what's going on in the world and being involved in all that. That's not saying we've gotten off course, but there's some things in our personal life and in our little world that we live in that all this stuff that's been happening, it's gotten us off course. Or it can get us off course very easily. And God's saying, calm down, step back, and let's get you back on course. So today I was journaling, and I, I mean, God writes to me and Many of you know that, you know, and I release those writings a lot. But God gave me like five pages because I hadn't done it for a while. And I, I realized that I've let what has happened in the world and, and getting caught up in everything, which I needed to, but also it has kind of gotten me unfocused of the course that I know that God had me on before all this started. So when God was journaling to me, to me today, and I'm like, God, you know, no matter what happens, 
in the next few weeks. No matter how, what happens with our election or who's leading our country, um, I still need to be focused on what God has for me, what God wants for me, what God wants me to do, like in my ministry and the people around me, the people that I have influence over. And so I was asking God, he's like, God, what do you want me to do from here? Because I feel like I have all this new information and I know that even though some things have been halted in my life, like I was going into the prisons and doing prison ministry and that was halted immediately. And God says, you will be back in those prisons, but you're not going to be back, going back in the same person that you were before. Because God showed me that he really has enlarged me during this time. He's increased me. And God's saying, what is in your hands right now? If you want to know the course that I have for you and what I want you to do right now, look around you. What is in your hands right now? What is in your hands that I have given you that you can use right now to go forth spreading the good news, teaching about me, whatever it is that I've, God has called you to or me to. He's saying, look and see what is in your hands and go from there. So I'm reminded of the verse in Hebrews 12, 1 through 2. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. So, this verse is incredible. Because really, okay, a lot of us right now are carrying around a weight. Not sin, but a weight. I want to talk about the weight. Um, there is a weight right now. Because we know that there's things happening in our world. And that there's things that's going on that's just outright demonically influenced working through people. We know that things are not right in the world right now. I mean, there's things that are always going to be not right as long as we're here on the earth. But I mean, things are really, really intensified and really not right right now. <laughs> That's the best way I can say it. And you know, when you're awake to that and we're, when you're paying attention to that, it is a weight. It is a weight. And I believe there's, there's times when God, and God um, what's the word, allows us to feel the weight of things that are happening because he's doing something in us. He's, that weight sometimes helps us to wake up. That weight moves us into action. But I believe right now, we're getting ready to enter in, or I think I believe at the time is here, that God is saying, lay aside that weight. Lay aside that weight. And, you know, if there's sin, God's going to help you deal with that. He's going to show that to you, and he's going to walk you through that. So lay that aside, because it clings so closely to us, because it hinders us sometimes from running the race with endurance. And I don't know about you, but I think a lot of us are tired right now from this weight. And God's saying, lay it aside. I want you to step back, calm down, get your bearings about you, bring your senses under control, and refocus. See what I have for you right now in this moment, in this season that we're getting ready to walk into. So you've got to be able to do this so you can run this race with endurance because each of us have a different race to run. And the course and the things on that race path is going to be different for everyone. Some of us are going to have more twists and turns. Some of us is going to be more uphill. Some of us is going to be more flat. 
But each one has a race to run, and he wants us to run it with endurance. And we have to keep our eyes on Jesus. And also, I'm, I'm reminded, like, Jesus, when he was running his race, he, it was the joy, that, the joy that was set before him, and that joy that was that set before him was us. He endured it all for us because he could see past the cross and he could see everybody that would be brought into the kingdom and be brought back close to the Father. So God is saying, there's, gonna, there's some things that you will have to endure, but look to the joy that is set before you. Look what is on the other side of that. And that will bring you joy. So use that and let it create joy in you to run your race with endurance. You know, there are a lot of things around us that are bright and that are, there's a lot of smells, a lot of noises, just like the dogs. And these things have gotten some of, some of us on a detour. And, you know, God, one thing that's awesome about God is that, you know, when we get off track, we get on a detour, God says, okay, that's okay. I knew that detour was going to be there. God says, I'm using that detour. And he says, okay, now let's get back on the course that I have for you. Let's get back on the course that I have for you uh, for what's coming. And there's always a next, and God's preparing us for the next. So I just really felt like I was supposed to release this. I'm sorry if it is, doesn't come out perfectly, but it was like a spur of the moment thing. And because I just believe this is where we're at right now. You know, we don't know what's going to happen. And, but it's okay because God does. And none of this is a surprise to God. So we've got to get our bearings about us. And we've got to use what's right in our hands right now so God can take us to the next. So God can put us in front of new people and influence new crowds. And I don't know, whatever it is, if we just step back, calm our senses down, get our bearings. God is going to show us what is next for us in this season and what our assignments are. So be encouraged today. Do what you need to do to get your focus back and to um, do the mission that God has called you individually to do right now and for what the next season is. This is Connie Miller of New Heart Living. I want you to have a wonderful day. And remember, God is in you. He prompts you from within. And he walks with you every step of the way. He loves you. Have a great day. God bless.